Thanks. This is something I made yesterday. It's a new series of linen oil pastels on cardboard. But that was pretty good. Not bad. It might fall over. Yeah, I was thinking about Daniel Day Lewis when I was making this. His movies really speak to me. How big of an influence has Daniel Day-Lewis been on your practice to date? It started about six months ago when um, my girlfriend and I were talking about movies we like and she was saying a bunch of these Daniel Day-Lewis movies I had never seen. Mm -hmm. And I was saying all these movies that she'd never seen. We realized he... He's a tremendous actor. Prolific. And so many fantastic roles. The method actor. Yes. Maybe I'm a method painter? Maybe. So in that way, I'm, you know, some paintings I will use my tongue to as the brush. And I feel like Daniel Day-Lewis would also kind of... Use his tongue as a brush. His tongue as a brush. Which ones of these paintings have you used your tongue on? It's not here. Yeah, this is terrific. I really like this. Thank you. But I also noticed that underneath here you have a uh, steel mouse trap. Little well, mouse no. problem? Yes, there has been some some studio some studio mice in here. I think a lot of people have that problem. Are they affecting your practice? You know, I it hadn't really. Uh, the painting seemed to be okay. I just kind of it's not his physical presence it's his mental presence in my head just kind of getting inside your head yeah. like a little mouse voice oh yeah and how have you gone with uh, catching the mouse well you know that the old fucker didn't come out for quite a few days and i had some tasty you know some treats in that trap <laughs> didn't catch anything and then um two nights ago something happened and uh, he felt the call to come into the trap. But I wanted to be hu as humane as possible, so it's a, you know, it's a live trap. He, won't, he didn't... He didn't die. He didn't perish. He's alive. He's alive now? He's very much alive. He's in the studio? Yes. Can, yeah. we, can, we, can we take a look? I would love to. Great. Yeah. Actually, right behind, behind you. Oh, <laughs> amazing. Micah's mouse friend. Yes. He, I think he is living a better life than than uh, roaming the the streets of Oakland. Yeah. Do you think he is missing his family? No, you don't think so. No, we're not. Look at he has a little his, his his friendly face. He does have a friendly face. Mice can be very sexual, if you didn't know. In fact, uh, their erections are almost entirely visible. All the time. Look at it. Yeah, you don't mean any harm, do you? Okay, don't bite. Ow! Fuck! Okay, ow. Okay, yep, yeah, that's. Hey, you smell water? You smell my finger? Did you get it? Yeah, little beetle eyes. Oh. So, I, um, at this point in the visit, I would like to offer you some fruit. Oh. Uh,. And nuts. Are these are these the same? Are these the same figs that you were feeding to uh, the mouse? Nuts. They are actually, um, but they're it's mixed in. So I, you, you could pick a uh, un, an unmiced. Oh, look, um, fruit. It's okay. No, it's it's all right. It's I'm, really, I just said it's a good. It's fine. Lunch. It's lunch. fine. The almonds. Not that one. Ooh, not. Uh-uh. Oh. oh, definitely not that one. Oh. I think that's hoop. That's actually mice poop. That's. This is an almond. You're right. But he has been crawling around all of this. So I'm. All day. I just can't seem to get him off my mind. Mmm. Mmm. 
in a way, he's um, he's more free than I am in the studio. Would you say he's become your muse? He has become my muse. But why is the why are you letting the mouse crawl over this food? Why you do, why don't you just let it be? This is a nice spread. I can see how this would work well if I was a gallerist or something. I'd be impressed with it. Thank you. I usually offer this, and at that point, the that's studio, when I offer you the show. The studio is at ends, and it's when's to when you want the show. It's like let's get the deal done. Let's yeah. ink. This is the pre-ink moment. Yeah. Micro, I had my eye on this one from the first time I walked in. Thank you. This kind of reminds me a little bit of a. Uh, I think of a. I think of. I think of a. A cage, trapping a mouse. Is this about the mouse? I don't know how you would get that. How would you get to that conclusion? I mean. Oh, because of the cage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will say it's not directly from personal experience. It's almost if I hallucinated it or kind of dreamt it or fantasized about it even about being impregnated by um, a hybrid mouse, cat, person, human. Whoa. While I'm in this... Like sex submissive sex position. Exactly, yeah. I've been left in this cage um, uh, and it was a kind of a sexual um, atmosphere that I was in there with. This is super weird. This is not what I was expecting you to say. I appreciate your honesty though. Thank you. Is this like a sort of ejaculation thing? Yeah, it's almost as if the, uh, the mouse had come in, kind of uh, ejaculated and impregnated me as leaving out this uh, window. Oh, so this is actually both the sort of ejaculate and also the mouse itself. Exactly. Yes. And, um, you yeah, know, it's, it's, you know, there's, there's some sort of like, uh, maybe the, the woman is, is here also. Mm -hmm. And then the mouse is over there, and in between, I'm caught in between. I have to say, I wasn't really expecting that the mouse thing to go so deep. I wasn't either, Monty. But it happens. <laughs>